What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video. Today real quick, I wanna share with you guys one of the products I received from Anomax. Now, they were nice enough to send a couple of their products to my studio, so basically I can test and share with you guys my thoughts. So I was like, let me first start with the power supply, cause I really like this power supply, especially for the price, $59. We have Anomax, uh, Cyberborn, 600 watt, 80 plus bronze it does come with five year YNT and also come with all the black cable no this power supply is not a modular power supply if you want modular power supply then you need to uh, you know step up to like you know uh, NRMAX uh, higher level power supply now uh, Severone uh, line also have um, 500 watt power supply and the 700 watt power supply so i have here 600 watt power supply i feel like this power supply is perfect for like uh, rtx 3060 graphics card or uh, rtx 3060 ti graphics card or maybe uh, rtx 3070 all right guys so before i do the unboxing i just want to give you guys quick specs around down so this power supply comes with single plus 12 rel okay and under the plus 12 rel you get 46 amp so 46 amp is uh, more than enough for let's say you uh, say rx uh, 5700 uh, graphics card from amd or let's say you uh, say rtx uh, 3060 ti or 3070 uh, graphics card and you get combined uh, 552 watt wattage and under total power you get 600 watt all right and then also this power supply comes with safeguard so what that mean actually you get uh over bolt protection you get under bolt protection you get let me see another one opp so over power protection and also you get short circuit protection so that's really good with this safeguard protection if anything happened to the power supply most likely this power supply is not going to hurt your uh you know rest of the hardware you have in your system okay uh this power supply also comes with japanese uh capacitor for a longer lifespan and a hundred percent flexible cables okay and one more thing i wanted to mention so um this power supply have 88 percent uh let me see uh, efficiency at 50 percent load all right guys so let me do a quick unboxing for you guys and sh show you guys after that we'll test and see how this power supply perform so let's jump in all right so before i do the unboxing you guys can look at the box all right front of the box back of the box here you guys can pause and read rest of the specs if you want hopefully you guys can see all right okay so what do we have we have uh, oh this thing is pretty big user manual all right so we have a user manual here as you guys can see nicely detailed okay don't need that and here we have the power supply and the power cable right here hopefully this cable uh it's 18 gauge that's 18 gauge cable yeah and we have some uh screws for the power supply right here all right let me move this box so you guys can see the power supply whoops oh i need a i need a scissor You know, I don't like dropping stuff or slamming stuff. All right, all right. You guys can see 120 millimeter fan right here. Intelligent fan, you know, automatically control speed. Uh, depends on the load. So here's the fan with the grill. You have a uh, Severon brand right here. 
and then you have uh, specs here okay as you guys can see and this power supply is really small like yeah I say ATX power supply but pretty cool all right so real quick let's check the cable so we have here our main 24 motherboard cable okay this cable goes to your motherboard 24 uh, pin header and here we have uh, two uh, VGA cables for your graphics card so we have uh, 6 plus 2 6 plus 2 so 8 each okay and we have how many SATA here uh, one two three four let me see how many SATA okay so this parts will come with eight SATA plugs okay eight so we have four on one cable here and we have and we have four more here so we have eight SATA plugs so yeah we have four Molex plug here and one FDD no one used that and we have one 8 pin uh, CPU plug right here okay yes so you can just uh, open this and you get two 4 pin here all right now let me plug this power supply to my test bench and we'll see how this power supply perform okay so let's jump in all right so you guys can see i did plug this power supply to my mini test bench right here uh, basically i just wanted to i'll show you guys um, you know how loud is this power supply like while idling and under load so you guys can hear the fan right now i'm like uh, 10 inches away from the power supply all right and also i don't think i show you guys this side of the power supply here basically you have the power switch on this side and the uh, power connection here that's about it all right now I have a uh, superposition benchmark open here so I can stress uh, this uh, test bench real quick so let me just run All right, so superposition benchmark is currently running. I need to kill the sound. All right. And now you guys can hear the power supply under full load. So currently my shotgun microphone is like 10 inches away from the power supply. And this power supply is pretty quiet guys so I'm like five inches away from the power supply yeah like maybe you guys are kindly hearing the uh, graphics card fan noise but the power supply is definitely uh, quiet it's not that quiet but quiet all right guys so that's all I got for you today Real quick, I just wanted to share with you guys an Amex uh, Cyberbond 600 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. And I personally think this power supply for the money, $59, performed really well. And I'll use this power supply in my next build. So make sure you stay tuned. 
And if you guys have any question, leave your question in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. There'll be a link in the video's description. Don't forget to check out this power supply. And I don't even remember how many times I said power supply. Alright, see you guys next one. Peace.